Hello, beautiful December day. Tomorrow begins Christmas week here in Hawaii, 2020. Um, this is our relatively new dinghy. We've only used it once or twice just to uh, just to test it out. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to apply this. Uh, it's kind of like a rubber strip. You put it on this uh, hard bottom here. This is gel coat, and it's very easily damaged, um, especially when you pull up uh, onto a beach or you hit some rocks or some coral. Um, we're getting ready to head to the South Seas to uh, French Polynesia uh, right around March 1st, March 15th, something like that. So we want to be well protected. So uh, the procedures are as follows. Um, first, we have to measure and use our trusty pencil on either side, um, all the marks down where this would sit. Then we tape off the area. Then we rough it up with a, uh, a Scotch-Brite pad. Then we acetone it down or use methylated alcohol, which we don't have, so we're going to use acetone. Um, then we will place this on carefully after we peel off this adhesive strip, this red part. We'll carefully place it. It's pressure uh, activated, meaning so once you press really hard on it, it's not coming off. Um, in the kit, it did come with this great tool. It's kind of like a little, I guess you kind of squeegee it on. And the idea is to begin at the center line and work the bubbles outward as you fold it down. So you would press and pull the bubbles out, go all the way down, uh, and uh, once it's fully adhered, we'll follow that up as the, uh, the factory recommendation is to use a, a rubber mallet and just kind of pound it along the way here. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's not rocket science going on today, but it's an interesting uh, uh, process, I guess, to what we're doing to prepare the dinghy for, for safety. Step two is completed. We uh, we taped off the area. The next, we're going to take our handy uh, Scotch Brite pad, which was provided in the kit, and we're just going to uh, scuff up this gel coat. Uh, the idea is to uh, make a uh, a better base for this to sit on. Um, you see the pad is removing some of the white. So what we're doing is we're taking any of the polish or waxes or any other kind of contaminants on there, like from our hands and things like that. Uh, eventually I'll put on a glove because I don't even want to get oil on this. Um, uh, once, once we uh, acetone this all off, we know we don't even want to get the oil from our skin on this because that, that could uh, promote uh, um, the rubber from adhering from the bottom of the dinghy, which is sort of counterproductive to the entire project. So here we go. Uh, so our next step will be to acetone this off by giving this uh, a good Scotch-Brite uh, sanding down. Um, I should mention, since this is gel coat, you always want to take the proper safety precautions. You should always wear a respirator, which I did not do. But I don't know if you can hear or not, but it is extremely windy here in Pearl Harbor today. So, and I happen to know none of our neighbors are home, which are downwind from the Big Island. So this is not going to affect anybody. I'm staying upwind from it, uh, but otherwise I would wear a, re a, a respirator. Okay, so, so for our next step, if I can get this container open. The rag just went into the water. Apparently my rag blew away. So, to get back to it now, so we'll just take our, uh, our acetone, just clean it off. I try to go over the tape a little bit too, just in case there's any kind of, uh, residual dust on there and uh, our adhesive is going to get very close to that. So I'll do this a couple of times while flipping the rag. I don't know if you can see that or not. You see the white on there. It's kind of hard to see with this earth colored rag. So I'll flip the rag, go for a slightly cleaner surface of a dirty rag and repeat the process. I apologize for all this wind. It might make it kind of hard to hear. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so our next step is to uh, actually Place this where it's going to go permanently. Um, once this sticks, that's it. It's not coming off. So we've got to be very, very careful. There is one area that I'm a little bit concerned with. If you see right here where the tape is, you've got uh, this uh, contour in the uh, in the rib. They call the bottom of the rib. Um, it's a little bit of a contour here. So uh, once once we stick it down, we'll start at the front end here and we'll work our way back. Once we get to this area, we might have to take like a little snip snip out of it just so it'll sit flat. 
Um, not really sure until I get there, but uh, wish us luck. And we'll show you the finished product when we're through. So the one part that I left out was uh, we also used a primer uh, before we started to uh, to adhere this. It was just it just came in a simple uh, already pre-soaked little uh, 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 pad that would just wipe down there, let it dry for a couple minutes, and that's it. Um, I've already stuck down. We've already stuck down this other side. What we did was once we once we stuck it down, um, we adhere it with this tool which comes with the kit to get all the air bubbles out because this is pressure activated, the, adhe the adhesive is pressure activated. Um, and there'll be one final step to get it to adhere. So now I have not done this side yet, so it comes in sections, the, uh, the, the, the backing of the tape, which makes it very convenient. So after we removed all of the blue tape, or outline, remove this yellow tape, careful not to let it go into the water. And then we begin at the center line of, of the uh, rib, and we pull it towards the uh, outboard of the boat to try to keep air bubbles out. Um, the one area I was worried about of challenge, it seems like it's actually uh, contoured to it pretty well. Um, not too worried about it. Um, but so what we still continue, I'll pull it outward. And again, this is pressure activated. So I work my way down using the palms of my hands, or the, I should say the heel of my hand. Kind of rolling it down. Okay, now I'll do a follow-up with the, uh, with this, I guess it's a spackling tool of some sort. But I put a little elbow grease in it, pull it down, paying uh, particular attention to this area where there's a difference in contour. Work it in there really, really well. Got to follow up on this side as well. So I'll continue to work this all the way down and I'll uh, show you the next step in a minute. Okay, so the final step with our uh, uh, rib preparation with the, the rubber uh, protector is to continue to activate the adhesive with pressure. Now, while it's not found in the literature, when I watched the YouTube video from the factory, the uh, uh, factory uh, representative who did the installation used a rubber mallet. So we're gonna go ahead and continue exactly what he did. I'm gonna start on the center line here if there's adhesive all the way uh, on the center and then of course all the way down and I'll do that the entire way. So here we go. Uh, using our mallet to get the piece of rubber to adhere as best as possible. It took us about, I think, 30 35 minutes to do the entire project. It was slightly interrupted by rain, uh, which was just uh, when we were flipping the dinghy over from, from the uh, way it usually sits to its current position. Um, so, other than that, the actual work took about 35 minutes. I think it's well worth it. It'll protect your investment. These uh, dinghies uh, are not cheap. So we do our best to maintain our equipment out here in the uh, 